Hello, how are you today? Welcome back. My name is Kelvin Waga, a trainer and a coach. I have been receiving a lot of inboxes from job seekers who tells me that they cannot secure an interview. And for those few who are lucky to go for an interview, their hopes end at the moment when the employers tell them we'll get back. But I know they are not alone. There are many people going through the same situation. Where is the problem? Is it that we don't have enough jobs to employ uh, these job seekers? Is it that uh, we are having half-baked uh, job seekers or half-baked career uh, personnel out here in the job industry? But that is not the point. The point is our market is saturated and each organization is looking for the best. There begs the question, how can you appear or how can you ensure that you appear among the best of the best? This tip that I'm about to give you will help you. I know this is mostly what happens with job seekers. We go online, surf for job opportunities, apply, do a CV, pay somebody to do us a good resume to accompany the job application with. Then we sit back and wait for replies from, uh, from the employers or from the recruiters able to tell us that we've been nominated or we've been shortlisted for these positions. But that is not the case. In the world we live in today, job seekers must take this chance to grab that opportunity, the job opportunity. And how do you grab this job opportunity? Don't just be a desk or a laptop person looking for jobs online. You're supposed to create this opportunity by yourself. And what do I mean by this? You've researched the company or you research the organization that you want to work for. So the big question is, how do you capture the attention of this organization? How do you capture the attention of these employers? You cannot capture this attention by going to their inbox, telling them that you'd like to work with them. That is not the way to do it. As a job seeker, you must be well equipped with research methodology. And when I'm talking about research methodology, how are these organizations uh, maybe in the marketplace? Let's speak for an instance, you're a digital marketing personnel and you want to work with company X. How do you ensure that the company X gains your attention? First of all, do an audit, a well-edited report outlining the brand's uh, presence online. Then go ahead and talk about some of the things uh, that the company is missing out. Go ahead and talk about how you can help this company gain this visibility. But if you are somebody who is so sure of what they are doing or of what they are saying, you can come up with a strategy to help this organization. Once you have this strategy in place, look for these people in authority that will make you, that will give you an audience and present this to them. When you're doing the presentation, let it be clear that you're not looking for the job, but you just thought it wise to go outside there, do the analysis and to help the company grow. Once you've shared this with the relevant authorities, you can tell them to go through maybe your report or your findings and then give you an audience to present yourself. That is just one way of getting the attention of these employees. But in most cases, what do we do? I have gone online, I've studied what you do, I've been following what you're doing, and I would really love to work with you. My big question as an employer will be, what is it that you're bringing on the table? I know some of you may be asking, what if we are not in the digital marketing agency? What is it that we can do? An online platform has given us the opportunity to look for opportunities within their online platforms. Just look at that one thing that puts you ahead of the rest. And in your position, what can you do to help change these organizations? So you can do a study on these several organizations, approach these organizations, maybe through email, maybe through phone calls, and just get them attention. 
they will call you for an interview. And once somebody has identified or has gone through the report or the finding that you shared, you'll find it easier whereby they'll be coming to you and knowing that you are somebody of value and you're coming to that company to bring value. I don't want to tell you to stop, but improve from sitting down surfing for jobs online because one thing you can tell for sure once the job has been posted online we have thousands and thousands of applicants sending their applications and even to the recruiters they don't go through these uh applications they just pick a few once they get the number of people they are looking for they stop the perusing process number two uh you've been called for the interview or you've been given an audience with the relevant authorities what how is it that you're supposed to prepare yourself so that when you walk into that interview it becomes exactly what you promised is what you deliver it becomes so clear that you are the person who is going to be an asset in that organization this is very simple once you've done your research well you shouldn't just stop there you should go ahead and come up with a strategy on how you're going to help the company. The number one thing that they, all the companies are struggling with as is sales. Once you can position yourself as someone who can increase leads and conversion in the company, no company uh, will just assume you. All these companies will just get to understand and to welcome you to uh, their organization do a well-crafted strategy a step-by-step -step, something that you will help you help these organizations I know we might be saying that where do we get these companies as somebody who is serious I want to share with you that I also went through the same situation whereby I used to apply for jobs I used to send out my CV I used to send out my applications but few of them went through and even after the interview i was not successful that is when i changed my strategy and i started looking down on how i could help these people improve their brands online i didn't know many people in that organization and for a period of three years i was out there tamaking seriously looking for a job I Played this strategy within three months I'd secured myself around four interviews and these interviews it was just a matter of confirming how much do you expect to be paid and when do you intend to start so if you can change your mentality from the desktop or from the laptop or from the cyber application and go outside there look for this opportunity Maybe you are good in strategies and this company is looking for somebody who has strategy. Remember, most of us, we have problems, but we don't know that we have these challenges until somebody points them out to us. There's a way a company is struggling online. Maybe, for instance, let's take for an example, you have somebody in a position who can help these companies grow. How do you position yourself to ensure that when you get to these people, you can deliver substance and you can deliver value and they can help you uh, gain these skills? That is not alone. Most of also job seekers sit down and relax once they've gotten their certificate and that is what they use to apply for jobs. As a job seeker or as anybody else, learning never stops and you'll find that maybe what you studied in school has been rendered redundant and you still sitting on that claiming that you are well experienced in the field that is opaque and no longer in use get to learn new skills where is the come as in where is the direction going as we can tell that covid 19 when it came it brought about so many challenges and so many opportunities. Guys who are moving away from the normal way of doing things to the new way of doing things. This involved technology. This involved uh, a lot of uh, remote uh, working experiences. And there were so many challenges that people faced uh, when doing this. As a person, if you gain skills maybe in the IT skills and you help this organization 
organize the Zoom meetings. You help the organizations organize maybe the systems in which the things can operate normally as if they're in the offices. So even as a graduate looking out for new opportunity, learn the skills, look at what is trending currently in the marketplace and how can I grab this skill to add on top of the education or the career that I want. Once you do this and you improve on daily basis, you will definitely secure that job. It is more important for you to develop your career. So point number three, get that which you are passionate about. You can still learn these skills. Start as a freelance, whereby you offer your services either on pro bono or on free services. Get to spend more time on the passion and the skill that you're working on. Sooner or later, you'll be called an expert. So when an opportunity arises, you won't have difficulty explaining this or presenting yourself as an expert in that field. So job seekers, we are having sessions where we train you on how to present yourself, what you need to tell the employers. After doing your research, how can you use that information to your own advantage? If you follow us today, if you join our online sessions, if you register for our webinar classes, I can tell you for a fact that it won't take long for you to get something that will be providing or that will be uh, giving you coins in your pocket. Follow us. I know you might be asking questions such like, I don't have maybe the materials to do this. I am a perfect example. I started my job hunt. When I changed my perspective, I didn't even have a single cent. But as we speak to you, I'm the CEO of one of the biggest digital marketing agencies in Kenya and also in East Africa. I did what I could. I started with what I had. We are all having mobile phones. How do you use your mobile phones? How do you use the uh, online gadgets that you are using? Use them to your advantage. Identify the problem or the challenges that the company needs addressing. Address that challenge and all is going to be okay. My name is Kelvin Waga, the CEO of Brasibility Digital, whereby we do trainings on job seeking, employee relations, uh, sales and marketing, digital marketing skills and leadership. For this and more, we kindly ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Brasibility Digital. You can also follow us on our social media pages. We have Kelvin Waga on LinkedIn, Kelvin Waga on Facebook, and Brasibility Digital as our YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to having a one-on-one -on -one with you. I'm looking forward to helping you secure that job. As an employer, I will be sharing my experiences. I will be sharing that which we look for when you are shortlisting people for interview. So keep in touch and we'll help you get that job. Otherwise, have a good time and please, please, please support us by subscribing below so that we can change the lives of many people as possible. Thank you and do have yourself a wonderful time. Till next time.